about to put the coffee on. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome to Hampshire Outdoors and Survival. Mickey here. Firstly, guys, please like, subscribe, share if you enjoy this video. Send us a comment, let us know how much you liked it. And remember, if you subscribed, you're going to have a chance of winning our giveaway for this Sunday. Wonderful stuff. If you don't like the video, or there's something in it you disagree with, feel free to comment. I read all my comments, I go through them, and I'll answer them all. So, let me know what you think. The feedback's helpful for me and for Mac. It helps us with our morale. Morale. It also gives us an idea of where you guys want us to take this. Okay. One of the most difficult things for any anybody producing these sort of videos is there's always that doubt in your mind. Am I producing what people want to see? Do they want to see this? Do they want to see more? Am I doing it right? And the only way we can tell that we're doing it right is with you guys' help. So anyhow, top lines. That's what we're going to cover this week. We're going to do top lines and we're going to do some cooking with the Dutch oven and the Swedish mess tin. Okay, so we're up here in the woods. It's just me today. Unfortunately, Max a little bit off colour, so he can't make it. But hey, that's not a problem. We'll be doing our overnighter tonight up here and enjoying the peace and quiet of the woods. Guys, let's crack it out. Right, guys, so as we were saying before, when you're setting up your line, first thing you want to do is have a loop on it the carabiner is always helpful because your first link is going to be above your top like that okay so that's your first line is up with no no, no dramas no dramas and no issues All right we will now run it to the other end well that was a bit of luck So here we have a bit of luck. Our line is just long enough. Okie doke. So, we can bring our tension on, come back, and it is no more than a simple overhanded loop. Okay? And that will hold that guy line quite happily for me. If I need to tension it even more, I can slacken it off. I can come round the tree, back on it, and guy it that way. So, we're going to run our guy line out, make it good and taut. Okay. However, we discovered a problem. We haven't got quite enough rope, so what can we do? So, our line isn't quite long enough for us to get a good wrap. So what we can do, we can form a simple loop off of the tree here, okay? Or, we could put one of our spare bits of paracord in, form a loop off of that, Come back around the tree, come back through that loop, and what this does, I put four strands there because I'm going to put tension on this cord. Okay, that's that cord there. Now, I come out, simple overhand loop, okay, hope you can all see that. Pull it back, another simple overhand loop behind it that acts as my lock, okay. Now this whole thing can be undone simply by pulling that, okay? So again, simple overhand loop, okay? Which gives you a running tail, which is this end. Come up, simple overhand loop again. That provides me with a lock. I can pull that up, and if I want to make doubly sure that that's not going to go anywhere in the night, I can place a stick in that and lock it off like that. Easy peasy. 
lemon squeezy. I could take. So we've made our extension loop there. Okay. So what we can do, we can come up our main line and create a simple overhand loop like that. We can come down with our, our line. Come back through our loop and we've created a winch. Now, with quite a little effort, because we've created a winch and a pulley, we can get a huge amount of tension on that line. You can come over with a simple overhand knot. And that's your line in place. You can then, again, if you're worried about security, find yourself a twig, pull the twig up. Twig will act as a lock. Okay? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, so that's how you set a line and if your line's too short using another short length paracord or another length paracord you can brace the two together and you can create a winch effect. Now I've created a, a tarp line there that is probably, I don't know, 15 foot long. Okay, it's got a good amount of tension on it but it's got enough give that if the trees move in the wind tonight I'm not going to stack that line. So now, let's have a look at these prussic knot thingies. So. These are my prussic knots. Okay. Now, they slide freely up and down until you put tension on them. When you put tension on them, they lock. Okay little bit of a wriggle and it will slide up and down again and you have two of them and each one has a loop on it I will show you how to set these up in a second but what I'm going to do first of all is put the tarp up rig the tarp and then come back and show you a loop and how to set a loop okie doke let's get this set snug packed up and so what you want to do put one of your prussic loops that way the other loop out that way. Right guys, so we're going to be using a snug pack um, tarp. Uh, it's a 3x3 three three and we're going to be using it in a diamond formation to make the most out of its width or its length. And for your prussic knots or prussic loops you're going to want two sticks. Put them in your pockets, so if you having to look round on the floor to find them. Okay, what we're going to do is slide the prussic loop up the line, put the loop of the line through the eyelet or, or through the nylon loop on the top, slide it up and tension it, and repeat the process on the other end. So, slide your prussic loop up. I'm actually going to go through the nylon loop, place a twig through the end of my prussic knot, slide it up to where I think it needs to be, roughly. And then just repeat the process from the other end. So, cross it loop. Through the top, stick, tension out. Now, you want to pay attention at this point to where your tarps, where your hammock sits under your top. You want to be fairly central. And the nice thing with this system is you can adjust it easily. So, we come out, get attention on that. Nice. Nice. So as you see, the tarp is now up and we've got a bit of tension on it. And again, the tension's on the tarp, the line's supporting it. Because the line's underneath it, anything drops on it in the night, that line's going to help to support it. Okay, if you've got the tarp underneath it, 
yep, you've just got the, the material at the top itself supporting it, giving it strength. Right, I'm going to peg this shelter out now and uh, get on with it. Once again, I'm going to do this shelter the same as I did last week and I'm actually going to fasten it off to a tree because I want this side to be fairly open. So pull my loop through, put my stick in and that holds that in place. No knots on there then, makes life a lot easier. So we've got our shelter organised for tonight. But nice view, it's not going to be, it's going to be chilly, but it's not going to be wet tonight. So I've got this shelter rigged, so I can drop that a little bit when I hit the sack. Okay, and that's going to give a little bit of a lean there. There's a nice lean there. It's well away from my, my hammock, so it's going to give me the protection I need from the weather. And I want a little bit of air around me tonight because I'm trying out this new kit. So if it's going to be cold, I want to learn that it's cold got to put yourself through it to do it. So press it loop. You can all see the, the line there. So that, that would be a line that you tensioned out. So take a piece of cordage. Tighten overhand. Knot in it. And shank it down to about an inch at the end. Like that. You've got two little tails there. Don't need the tails, but it gives you a little bit of leeway, and that creates just a simple loop. Now, take your main line, the one that you want it to slide up and down, form a loop in it, go through the centre. Go through the centre once, go through the centre twice. You can go through three times, but I find twice tends to be enough, and tension up. Okay? And what that does, that forms the prussic knot. Now, to slide the prussic knot, you loosen it off, you roll it in your fingers and it will slide. Okay? As soon as you put weight and tension on it, the friction will lock it. And you won't move it. Okay? But as soon as you need to move it again, you take the pressure off of it and it will slide. Put the pressure on and it will lock. Simple as that. Take it off. Now, if you really want to make it secure, like I say, you can come round. You can put a third loop into it. Okay. And you see what it does? It starts to lengthen it out. Again, slides up and down. Locks off. As soon as you put pressure on it. Okay. So now, this end comes through the loop on your top. You lock that off with a stick, you can slide this and tension your top. You can release it and slides down. And like I say, on climbers ropes this loop would have been fastened to them. They can slide it up, put weight on it, it locks, slide it up, put weight on it, it locks, slide it up. Okay, so it was a climber's knot. Very simple, very efficient. And when you want to take it off, I mean I tend to leave mine on the the lines but if you want to take it off you literally unwind it okay so really it's not a knot it's a hitch because it can be released okay I'll go through that one more time take a loop go over the main line okay through the pass it through the center of itself through the center of itself we'll do it three times okay And there's your plastic knot. And it will slide. It's a great system for doing your tarp lines. It's a great system for doing anything where you need to apply tension to a line. So you want to pull something along a line. You could also do this um, on a system that's, that's connecting multiple tarps. Okay, so you can have this one guy line here. You can pull out a tarp that way, connect another tarp a bit further up, and so on and so on and so on. So you, you can make multiple tarp systems. Um, 
back here. That's a classic knot. Easy as that. Um, the other bonus with it, you can put it on there for hanging lights and you can move the light up and down your shelter system. Okay? You put your hang whatever you wanted on there. So that you don't just use it for tension, you can use it for hanging stuff on and positioning things. Classic knots. Guy lines. Okay, we'll have a walk around. So as you see, the end of my line comes up, comes through the eyelet, stick on it, line here, classic knot here, tree there, and we'll have another look at this. So there's my guy line running out here. That's using bank cord, which makes a nice prussic. The bank cord comes through, goes through the canvas, twigs securing it, I can slide that up. I can also slacken it off. I can slide it up, put tension on it, and it's gonna stay there all night. There's my hammock set up. Come up to the other end as well, have a look at that. And hopefully if it all came out on the video, so what you see there, Prussic's fastened there, Prussic slides up to there. Tensioning system here, second line there. Safety sticks in, simple as that. And again, if it rains and it comes down onto these, it'll only run as far as these, it'll run down them, hit this, run down this, hit that because it's going to follow gravity and it comes off and my lines are all under my top right i'm going to get a fire going and put coffee on so now what we're going to do we're going to process some timber and we're going to use my old favorite british army survival knife and what we're going to do we're going to protest some process some logs to give us some kindling um, yeah these were brought in these are pine logs everything's very wet up here so I brought in a little bit of pine just to give me a bit of an advantage and it doesn't need to be anything fantastic there's plenty of um, small twigs I just wanted something mid-range something just to get an initial bit of heat <laughs> typical That will be the basis of our fire. Right, let's get a fire lit. So, what we're going to do, all this is very damp in there, it's not been used for a while. It's got a lot of damp ash. So, what I've got, got some old burnt bits of wood there. I'm using those to create a raft. That's to get me up off of the uh, damp. They're, they're not too bad, they're manageable. I've gone out, big bundle of silver birch twigs. I've got a few pine twigs and that. And we're gonna make our fire. So we'll get this going. And then later on we can make some bannock bread and get going. So, what I'm gonna use is a ferro rod and a tampon. Come on guys, don't get upset. At the end of the day, these should be in all your survival kits. It's a brilliant system, okay? Not just for what it was originally meant for, but for fire lighting, safety, um, dressing minor wounds. No, you can't dress major wounds with it. But for packing on a minor wound, 
it's brilliant okay it's aren't designed to soak up liters and liters of blood but they pack down small light easy okay use the whole resource okay this is waxed cardboard use the whole resource don't don't mess about even the paper okay so what we can do now take the ferrocean rod my old bush knife which I haven't used for a while it's been a bit retired find a nice bit of fluff There we go, we're in light. Okay, don't. Place a silver birch bundle onto it. Alright guys, so it's Mick here, so I'm not going to waste my batteries, I'm going to turn in probably shortly, it's a, it's a beautiful night, in fact I say turn in shortly, I'm going to let this fire die down before I turn in, um, but uh, that's it, I don't want to waste the batteries on the, the lamp and that, so I'm going to say good night now, sleep well wherever you are, have a peaceful one, and uh, yeah, I've seen the morning, and as I said in the past, I don't do video shots of me getting out of bed. I don't do video shots of me in bed. It's don't see the point in it. You don't want to see me in my boxes. You know I'm up here sleeping in the hammock, and you definitely don't want to see me very first thing in the morning. So I'll see you in the morning when I make the brews. Um, yeah, so I should get up tomorrow morning. I should make a brew. Um, I think I'm going to have noodles for my breakfast. Um, that will set me up for the day, fuel me up. And I'll do those in the Swedish cook set. Anyhow guys, have a peaceful night. Mickey out.